Well, Brian, you're actually absolutely right. I got a knock on the door uh, in the morning. I went to the door. There are three FBI agents. Of course, like you said, I'm traveling with my family. Uh, we have two young daughters. I'm with my uh, my elderly in-laws, and uh, you know they they want to take my cell phone and. And I said, you know, could you contact my attorney? You know, why, why, why does this have to happen, you know, out on the street, you know, and, and how did you find me, by the way? And, of course, they wouldn't answer that question. Uh, they said they were going to image the cell phone and return it sometime later since I didn't have a phone. And this is my personal cell phone, Brian. I have a, uh, you know, I have a, uh, a, a, a official cell phone. They don't, they don't want that. So this is my personal cell phone that I talk to my wife on, that I talk to my children on, my constituents. None of the government's business. Uh, you know, and of course, immediately the story blows up. I'm sure you know. Uh, you know, what's interesting, though, is, is while that story blew up, I heard from my attorneys who talked directly to the Department of Justice who said that I, their client, am not a target of this investigation. Now, think about that. If I'm not a target, why do they come follow me, you know, find me on when I'm traveling with my family? They don't come to my house. They don't co contact my attorney. Why do they come and seize my cell phone to image it? In, in that fashion, if they would have just call, contacted my attorney, certainly we would have provided the information necessary as required by law, and that would have been the end of it. But they want this spectacle. They want this show. They want the intimidation. And, of course, the media is not saying anything about the fact that, you know, reported today that I am not a target of, the, uh, of this investigation. Okay. And so, look, this is, this is the DOJ run amok. And I think what people need to really think about is in about a day, we're going to vote on a package and it'll probably pass where they're going to employ 87,000 new IRS agents. What do you think they're going to be doing? They're, they're going to be coming for all of you. You know, to, to yesterday it was my cell phone. Tomorrow it's going to be it's going to be average, hardworking Americans that are just trying to make it through their days. When did they confront you? What day? Uh, yesterday. What was yesterday? Okay. It was Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday morning. Now the president's house was raided Monday. Do you think they're linked? Right. I do. Th I think all of this is linked. Of course it is. And uh, what do you think they're looking for? Look, I, I don't know. Like I said, we asked. I'm not a target of the investigation, so I, I can't really speculate. I, I don't know what they're looking for, but they came and, and took my cell phone, even though I'm not a target, which right. is, so you think about that. This is I mean, what I'm usually if somebody... It, Congressman, this is what I'm getting at. The, the National Art, the, the yeah. FBI said, although the Trump family has not seen the, uh, the warrant yet, the FBI said, we're here for the, on behalf of the National Archives. Okay. So the National Archives, or is this about January 6th? What do you think? Boy, I, here's what I think. I think that they're scared to death that President Donald Trump is going to come back in 2024 and win re-election, and they're going to do every single thing that they can to make sure that doesn't happen, including make up some kind of charges from the National Archives. I mean, quite honestly, it's absurd. Uh, if it's the National Archives, I mean, the president is the ultimate classification authority. You know, saying he took yeah, classified that. information, out, you know, uh, he's the classifier. James Comey leaked classified information to get a, a special counsel. Hillary Clinton, well, you know, we don't know the extent of the classified information she had on her private server. No accountability whatsoever. But somehow, right. do they think that President Trump packed the boxes at the White House to take to Mar-a-Lago? You know, I, know. I think this is all about 2024 and and their disdain for President Trump and the fact that they know he's coming back and likely to beat their candidate, Joe Biden. Did you get or any phone? other candidate? Did quite you get honestly. your phone back? Did you get your phone back? Congressman, did you get your phone back? I guess we might have lost him. All right. Uh, Congressman Scott Perry, thanks. We'll watch where you'll play this back and you'll see I did.